Many growers, when they're looking at determining the peak harvest of their cannabis plants, will look at the trichomes. A lot of growers, when they're looking at the trichomes, notice there's more than just one type of trichome. Well, this video here will explain the different types of trichomes that you might be visually seeing. All right, let's get into types of trichomes explained here. We can see them visually represented. We're gonna go into them in a little bit more detail. So first off, what is a trichome? Well, trichomes are small uh, hair or other outgrowth of the epidermis of the plant, typically unicellular and can be glandular. These structures are the site of cannabinoid, terpene, and flavonoid production. And this is why growers look at them and think that they're so important because really that's where all of the chemicals that they're looking for are being produced. These are found in more than just cannabis plants, so keep that in mind, as terpenes function as a natural plant defense mechanism in other plants as well. Here we're seeing some of the kind of visual representation of them, uh, some you might be more familiar with, some maybe just think his little background uh, structures, but they're all kind of a protrusion of that epidermis. Now we have the glandular uh, trichomes here, and there's again, there's gonna be a whole bunch of different types. I'm gonna try to present some good visual images as well as some descriptions here. So glandular trichomes are gonna be kind of in this category, and they produce and store large amounts of cannabis resin, which are found in high quantities in female flowers, but are also found in leaves and also on the stems of particularly younger plants. So not just only found there, they can be found in other portions of the plant as well. Glandular trichomes can occur as small bulbous trichomes with one cell cell stalks, sessile uh, glands which are attached directly at the base without a stalk or multicellular stalked granular trichomes with long multicellular stalks into the brachioles surrounding the pistil flowers. What does that mean? If you look with a strong magnifying loop kind of towards the area of the flower or inflorescence that's unfertilized, you might be finding these different structures here. There are three common uh, glandular trichomes here, as we can see listed, and we'll go through each of those and show you kind of a good picture um, of each so you can identify those different glandular trichomes. They're all in that same category. So starting with the first one, the bulbous uh, trichomes here. And these bulbous trichomes are found throughout the plant, but do not produce or contain cannabinoid or terpenes. They're very small, 15 to 30 microns in size. So they are that kind of that little bit of that kind of like bulb-like look to them uh, and found throughout the plants, not just in one area, but do not really contain any uh, cannabinoids or terpenes. So not really a main focus to determining the peak of harvest or how well your harvest may go. Then we have the uh, capite sisal uh, trichomes. So in this example here, these have gl- uh, globular shaped head here and are the most common as they're found on the stems, leaves, and also the bracts. So they're found in multiple locations in the plant. While these trichomes do produce cannabinoids, the levels produced are much lower than the uh, capitis stalked trichomes, which are discussed on the next slide. These are mid-sized, measuring from 15 to 100 microns across, so they're a little bit bigger than the first ones, uh, but really produce cannabinoids, but not really to any great degree. So these are the kind of the highlight ones. I think the ones that most growers are kind of seeking out and looking for. Uh, These are the capitate stalked trichomes and they are the primary source of the cannabinoids, terpenes, and other plant oils found in cannabis plants that develop only after flower formation. So these are the kind of the key ones that we're looking for, key ones that we're gonna be looking at as far as determining peak harvest, going from that clear to that cloudy to think a little bit beyond maybe that amber state. If you look at the bracts of the flower, there are small, tiny mushrooms that measure about 150 to 500 microns tall. So in relative comparison, much taller than the other ones. That's why it makes it great for kind of that visualness to kind of like zooming in on. Now we also have some non-glandular trichomes, which are the ones that would be located uh, here as far as structures go. They are hair-like extensions resembling leaf hairs with slender kind of pointed apex. Uh, They protect the plant from its environment, mainly through physical means, restricting access to animals and insects, preventing water loss or light degradation and fungal infection. So they do have important plant functions. It's characteristic on cannabis to find non-glandular trichomes on both the top and also the bottom of the leaves. And there's two main non-glandular trichomes found on cannabis plants. So first off here, so here we have the cystolith 
trichomes that have characteristic bear claw shape and have calcium systoliths resembling knobs visual at their base. You kind of see them located right here if we're looking really in detail. They're found on the upper surface of the leaves and range from 150 to 220 microns in height. Frequently these trichomes are broken at the knob feet, so they can be broken right right there at that kind of area. We see three represented or highlighted uh, in this labeled diagram right here. And we have the non uh trichomes as well. And these are found most often on the lower side of the leaves, bracts and brachials, and tend to be fine and slender shaped there. So here's basically, there's no like bulb at the bottom. They're just kind of that looks like a little clear hair protrusion from the leaf surface there. And remember, these are all epidermal kind of protrusions there that are occurring. So hopefully this was a nice kind of breakdown of looking at the different trichomes. So if you're looking at the leaf surface, looking at the flowers, you can have a better understanding for the diversity of trichomes that are present on a cannabis plant.